is Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today we have the one, the only, the legendary Spin Clean Record Washer Mark II. Now, this is something that you guys have been asking for. This is something that we've talked about in different ways for some time because it really is legendary among vinyl people and collectors and record collectors and all that good stuff and for good reason. It's a great story this company. Originally Fidelitone out of Chicago in 1974 started a product that was a predecessor to this called the Spin and Clean or Spin and Clean and they sold this Spin and Clean device in various independent record shops throughout the United States. In Pittsburgh around 1975, one of the independent stores was called Record Rama, and it was owned by a guy named Paul Mawin. And Record Rama was a top seller of this product. I mean, they really did well with this. They had floor displays stacked with these boxes. Well, one day, Fidelitone says, you know what? We're gonna discontinue the spinning clean because we can't hang it on a pegboard and that's really what we want to do going forward. So Paul's like, wait a minute, this is an incredible product. Why would you do that? And instead proposes to buy the product, which he does and renames it Spin Clean. And Spin Clean, the legend, you know the rest of the story. Well, maybe you do. Because in 2009, Paul retired and his son Mark took over and does a little bit of redesign work, optimizing things everything all the way down to these fluffy cloths to really optimize this product and you know from 2009 2010 on the legend continues so here we go today for your entertainment for your education we're going to take a look at the official spin clean now you'll find this interesting right here on the side does it work does it ever meet my new best friend spin clean says neil of absolute sound and even more interesting michael framer himself says I clean some dirty fingerprint encrusted records, and when I remove them from the vat, all the dirt and fingerprints were gone. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox the legend itself. And thank you, those of you that said, you gotta check out Spin Clean, because we've looked at a lot of cleaning products, which I won't name here, but this is the real granddaddy of them all. So the Spin Clean Mark II, you can get as low as $79. This particular one comes with extra cloths and extra cleaner. And they will tell you the secret to the success of Spin Clean is in the cleaner itself. It is alcohol free. So for those of you that have told me in the past, you need to be very careful with the cleaning solution because some of them have alcohol and that could be damaging, especially on 78s, shellac records this solution will treat your records way, way better. Okay, so got our instructions there. Manufactured and hand assembled in the USA. That is awesome. That is so cool to see products still made here in the USA. So yeah, there's a vat, there's a cap on top here, more clean cloths. I love how this version of it has these clean cloths. There's also another version that has, uh, that's clear, which is really cool, but, Part of the secret too is the yellow color. Why did they make a bright yellow? Well, part of the reason is it helps you see the dirt that comes off your records. And you know, that's an interesting thing. You know, consumers expect to see and hear things being cleaned. Case in point, when they design vacuum cleaners, they actually engineer it so that you can hit, hear the dirt and sand being sucked up inside and hitting a panel. There's actually auditory feedback because it's designed into that product. So with this, you get to see the dirt that comes off of the records. And from what I understand, it's pretty amazing. So there are the rollers. You get two sets of brushes and they're gonna be preset to the perfect pressure. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Here's another bottle of the cleaner. This is the one that would usually come in it. And this edition has the extra cleaner. And these cloths, they even engineered the cloths. These are specially designed absorbent cloths. They're super soft. And I'm really looking forward to trying this out. So let me put it together and we'll give it a test. But wait, there's more. If you order now, it kind of looks like that. <laughs> We're just reviewing this. This is fun. Okay, so the manual's awesome. Full color pictures. It fully explains everything. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be really, really cool. So to set it up, it's really simple. You remove the cap and um, you fill the basin to this line right here, basically right underneath the rollers. As you can tell, these rollers 
unlike some that we've reviewed in the past, seem to be really well designed because there's no gap between that rubber and the plastic edge. So basically, you put them at the appropriate size. We're gonna do some 12 inch records, so that'll do the trick right there. And then you get extra pads, so you only need one set at a time. But there's sort of a felt padded material right there. And we're just gonna drop them in right here. Let me show you exactly what I'm doing. So I put the rollers, depending on what size record, 12 inch, 10 inch, or uh, seven inch, put them in the right spot, slide these in, and you're pretty much ready to go. It's recommended to use distilled water that you don't have to, but use distilled water if you have to. And again, we're gonna fill it right to that fill line. Okay, we're gonna pour in our distilled water up to that fill line. Just like that. Now you can take the cleaner, and there, if you misplace the manual, shame on you. But no, seriously, if you misplace it, the instructions for how much you need are right on the back. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out approximately one cap full of solution, and just pour it right over those brushes right there. Oops, and it looks like I need some more water. I thought I was higher up than I really was. There we go. Now we got it to the right level. Oh, interesting. It's like leveling through the brushes. That's why I thought it was full because I was looking on this side and then it was adjusting over there. <laughs> interesting, okay. Basically we want it at the fill line, just like that. There we go, okay. I was like, I could have sworn I filled it to the fill line, but we did. Okay, so we're ready to go, you guys. So now grab some dirty records. And if you're anything like me, that's gonna be the easiest part of this is finding something to clean. A towel works really dang good. So just lay out a towel, a good waterproof surface. I wouldn't do this on a wood table or anything like that. Um, and these records that we're gonna be washing today really aren't that dirty. They're not filthy. You know, we've reviewed, you know, units in the past with, you know, disgustingly dirty records. But what I think is really more impressive is a product that can take off, you know, day-to-day -day dust and dirt and grime and really make a difference. So, um, you insert it, and then grasping the edges, don't touch the actual groove surface. You're gonna rotate it to the right, three turns, three complete turns, and you definitely feel some pressure there, but you don't feel like you're gonna break anything. Those are designed to have just the certain and perfect amount of pressure so that they scrub deep down into those grooves and get all of that gunk out there. Because the way records work is by physically converting mechanical information into sound information by means of amplification through a stylus, every little thing in the groove besides the groove gets amplified as well. So all those little pieces of dirt and dust and even fingerprints can make a negative impact on your record. Okay. Now, once you've got it done, just raise it out just like this. Be careful not to touch the record playing surface. And this is the next magic part of this process is these super duper absorbent towels, specially designed. And these guys always, always wipe in the direction of the grooves. And you're not gonna get it perfectly dry at this point. You're just gonna kind of mop up the majority of that moisture. So get all of that wiped up that you can, and then just place them on the towel to dry, and in a few minutes, you'll be ready to put them back in the sleeve or to play them. It's really, really simple. It's fun to do this. It really, really is, you guys. And you don't need to worry, be worried about damaging your records or anything like that. Your records are gonna love this. This is great. This is the best thing you've done for your records. It applies the perfect amount of pressure. It's got the perfect solution. And this will allow you to really sit down and have a cleaning session that's super productive. And you can go through and knock out anywhere from 20 to 50 records with one tub full of solution. You can actually save the solution for about a week if you want as well. Make sure that when you're done, you rinse everything out with warm water, especially those rollers, I mean those uh, pads. That's gonna be key. Somebody mentioned in one of my previous cleaning videos, 
Well, yeah, they look better, but will they sound better? And yes, they will. That's ultimately why we're doing this. Typically, and this is a broad statement, so go with me here, but typically when it comes to records, seeing is believing. So if the record looks good, it's more likely that it's gonna sound good. Doing this really makes you thankful for records that have a nice rounded edge. <laughs> I know all of you know the pain literally of sharply cut records when they trim off that excess vinyl after it's pressed. If they take the time to sort of polish and round the edges, it makes a big, big, big difference. So initial thoughts are, compared to other products we've looked at, these rollers are staying put. They're not popping out like some of the other ones. Also, the record is not getting caught between the plastic and the rubber. Definitely, I can already tell a quality difference. The pads feel very identical. The solution, like I said, is really what sets this apart because it's better for your records than an alcohol-based one. But in terms of the physical hardware and the design, it feels superior. It really, really does. Also, I love the fact that this version of this includes a bunch of rags because they get wet and lose their effectiveness pretty quick. And you can just wash these rags and use them ind indefinitely. Make sure you don't use any fabric softener. Wash them with other whites, all that stuff. Yeah, and just go to town washing record after record. Okay, let's just stop for a minute and take a look at how good this is working. So this is a scratched up thrift store record. This is not like high-end vinyl, but the grooves are absolutely immaculate, gorgeous. You can see the modulation there. All the dirt and grime is completely gone. This record looks like a million bucks. This stuff really, really works. Another thing that's pretty impressive too is you'll notice as this rotates that the label doesn't get wet because the grooves sort of guide the liquid down and around the label. So it's gonna get maybe a little bit wet, but not bad at all, which is a concern of some people. Okay, and when you're ready to go to seven inch, just move it inward to the innermost setting, and the rest is the same. Now these rollers are perfectly spaced to protect the 45 label and to scrub clean that playing surface. And again, this is fun, this is really cool. It's a fun thing to do. It's something you probably want to set aside an hour or two to do because it takes a little bit of time to set it up and then you gotta let them dry. And it's kind of a big production, but it's fun. And it's really interesting. You compare this to like those expensive, you know, systems that you have to have installed. They not only cost a lot of money, but they use a lot of electricity. This is completely green. Well, almost completely green. It uses water and a little bit of solution and no electricity, nor does it need it to perfectly clean your records. And again, I really get the sense doing this that if records could talk, they would be thanking you right now because they may not have ever been cleaned out. So you may not have ever unlocked the full potential sound that can be had until you truly clean it. Now I wanna show you another one of these records just how gorgeous that playing surface is, you guys. It is immaculate, purely immaculate. And I was wondering how a non-alcohol-based solution would dry compared to an alcohol-based solution, and it dries just as fast. And like I was saying before, because of the fact it is not an alcohol-based solution, you can safely clean those 10-inch shellac records now. Same process, just move the rollers to that middle spot. This is an absolutely filthy, filthy record. Cleaning a 100-year-old record was never easier, you guys. Literally a century of dirt just cleaned out of this unit. Now, if you remember earlier on, I said that the yellow design allowed you to see what kind of grime was collecting in the basin. So let's take a look and see what we've collected so far. And here we are looking into the spin clean. Yep, you can see all kinds of junk settling deep down inside there. Look at that. 
Yep, and it's just gonna get more and more so the further we go. So let's clean some more records. After you pull your record out of the cleaner, just wipe it in a circular motion. I like to do it on a flat surface like this because you can really give it a little pressure and get down into those grooves and really dry them. This works a lot more effectively than just holding it in one hand like I was before. But man, that is an immaculate surface. Now, after it's completely air dried, by the way, you can kind of touch it up with a damp rag if there's any drips or anything, any uh, fuzzies or anything that gets stuck to it. Then once it's completely dry, you can either play it, put it right back in the case. How about a little before and after? Okay, here is a pretty filthy record. I mean, I've seen worse, but there's some water drops on there. Lots of dust. Yeah, this is a dirty, dirty record. Definitely in need of cleaning. So let's go ahead and clean it with a spin clean and see how it works. Same record, after spin clean and after drying, it's perfectly clean. Still a couple scratches on there. I mean, it wasn't a great condition record to begin with, but it just gleams, glistens. It's absolutely beautiful in terms of the cleanliness. Fantastic, fantastic improvement. Here's a good condition record that was cleaned. Just look at that. Look at the glistening radiance of it. I mean, it's beautiful. You know, all of the polish that was hiding beneath the grime is now evident once again. Just beautiful. And they sound better too. You know, in future videos, we're gonna do some sound tests and really compare the before and after in terms of sound. Okay guys, I've cleaned about 30, 35 records now. Let's take a look at our water. And, oh yeah. And you can see all kinds of gunk in there and dust and nastiness. Look at that pooled up on the bottom. And again, these were just like averagely dirty. These weren't like disgustingly dirty. Water's murky, all kinds of grime down there. Okay guys, I'm done for today. I plowed through quite a bit of records. It's fun, it does take some time. Now that I've got it um, used, I mean, now that I've used this, I need to uh, dump the water out. And once I've done that, these little um, pads in here, slide out. It's really important that you take these out, rinse them under warm water, make sure you get all that filth out of them, and let them really, really air dry for a couple of days probably before you put the calf back on to make sure it's completely dry. Then you'll be ready to go. If you want to keep your solution, you can do so for about a week. That's as much as they recommend doing it. But this is cool. This is really cool. This is definitely higher quality than anything I've ever seen before. And I just like it all the way around. All the parts seem better built, better designed. They clean the records. The, the cleaning solution is the best cleaning solution I've ever cleaned a record with. I've never got a shine like that off of a record before. So highly recommended. I'll put a link down in the description below. Hopefully in the future we can review their cool clear unit. That would be really neat to do. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.